Hey, welcome back to the Minimax build. I am, uh, you saw last time, we got the, uh, got the wheels on, um, the landing gear in place. We got the tailwheel assembly put together and now I've been working on getting the tailwheel assembly on the plane. Um, I needed to cut out my uh, inspection hole on this side so that I could access the screws that are up in there. Um, I got the, the uh, bracket here screwed in place now so that's all good and uh, now I'll go to the other side I've got to relieve these two holes as well um, this is the little slit I made in the fabric here um, that's for my elevator trim uh, and uh, I'll get these cut out and then I can actually work on getting getting the uh, getting this mounted and the steering bar in place so that's what we're going to do next and i'm gonna get those other two holes cut and then we'll grab some stuff we need and we'll do that all right all right i was going to show you the arrangement here um, basically what we have is uh we have a uh, dash four washer and then we have a bushing um uh, chromoly bushing that goes in the middle of our steering arm so we have the bushing the uh, steering arm the uh, dash 4 washer goes on the bottom and then we get a dash 3 washer on the top and we'll get some grease on that before we uh, put that put the bolt through and the bolt is actually coming from the top down through um, and the nut is on the outside uh, on the steering arm so I'm gonna get this inserted get everything in place and then we'll be able to uh, that installed. We'll get it in the right orientation here. Right orientation meaning um, the uh, where the steering thimble goes is to the front. Uh, let's see. Yeah, where the steering thimble goes is to the front. Where the steering arm goes is to the back. So that's what we. That's the orientation I was talking about. Um, all right, so let me get this, uh, let me just get this set in here. Uh, we'll get the bolts through, and then we can, uh, we can get this thing bolted on, and then we can set this thing on its wheels, which is super, super cool. All right. All right, so let's get this on now. Right, there we go um, now I'm gonna get the steering arm 
and we'll get that uh, we'll get that installed. I actually got these type of rod ends. Uh, I like them quite a bit, so one's going to go on the back here. It goes on the top, and then the other one goes on the bottom. It doesn't take many tools to work on a Minimax, so. Need to go clean these threads real quick. They got a little paint in them, so. All right, so I got my jam nuts here. Got them on, and now uh, I can just get those inserted here. That's bottom out right there. <clears throat> These will go on the list for adjustment later um, when we get the uh, rudder and everything centered up then we can work on the tail here um, and there we're bottomed out on that one so it's good enough for now. So we'll go on the steering arm from the bottom. Make sure we got good clearance all the way around. Put the thing in the back over there. Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be close right on the edge there but no matter what happens with it it's got it's got enough so all right but actually not I don't know how much throw is a lot so I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, for now it's connected, which is good. And now we can get the cables coming out of the fuselage. We can get them coming out the top. Um, and uh, we can get some other things done inside there. But this is what we have back here. And now I'm going to get it off these stands and actually get it on its wheels. So. All right, so the uh, tail wheel is on, and she's on her gear, which is uh, which is really uh, it's really a, a nice move. So um, now there, this this uh, probably will not work. Um, we'll find out when we put the rudder on, but I have a feeling that we're going to be removing this and maybe um, either remaking this. Or, um, or moving this hole out um, further to um, to get a little more a little more throw. But what I want to see is where where does this end up? Uh, uh, more than likely, the slot is going to have to be increased 
because I think the rudder movement, well, well, we'll base it off the rudder movement. When we get full deflection on the rudder, if we're hitting the stops down here, we'll know we need to increase the size of that hole and potentially move the, uh, uh, move the steering arm out. And uh, I'm gonna reduce the size of that bushing just a little bit because um, there's just a little bit of play in here um, that I don't want. So I need to get those, the, uh, the quarter inch washer and the 3 16 washer a little closer together. Um, so the steering arm is kind of uh, just a little bit sandwiched between the washer, but not exactly. I just want a little bit of, of that metal bushing um, to be just proud of uh, that thickness so that um, I can get those closer together in the, well, you know what I mean. All right, so um, we have a whole bunch of things we can do. Um, yesterday I used uh, Loctite uh, 567. Um, I went ahead and put the uh, all the things attached to the gasculator. Now I'm ready to, uh, it's my drain. I'm ready to safety wire um, this together. So I made sure there was nothing on the inside and all that. So I'm going to get that safety wired so we can get that installed. Um, it, actually, this is a good time to do it because it's real easy to get to without the wing on. And the plane is lower, as you can tell, when, when it's actually sitting on its gear. So I'll be able to easily get in here and get that gascalator installed. Um, so we've got that. And uh, as I mentioned before, I want to work on uh, I want to work on that windscreen and improve that. Um, I have my uh, radio mount to figure out, which I'm going to do later. I'm going to. I don't want to. I could get distracted from. Well, I could get distracted, I, I get distracted anyway, but I could get distracted with all these little details and move away from my covering and painting, which is really kind of primary right now. So um, those things are fillers when I'm waiting on other things over here relating to painting and covering. So, whew, that's a lot. But you might have seen... Um, Surely, somebody somebody must have thought to themselves, I wonder if Dennis is going to put drain grommets in the uh, stabilizer. And if you thought that, good, because I wasn't thinking about it, but I need to, and I should have. So... Um, they go just on the inboard side of the uh, of the rib here and where I'm gonna put them is uh, just right kind of in this corner where the gusset and the trailing edge part meets right here put one here and one here and then I'll have one here and one here um, I need to find a location where the where the uh, grommets gonna sit flat so uh, I'll grab one of those. These guys are tucked over here. So we have those four that need to go on here. Three, four, yeah. And what I'll do is in the area where this is going to go, I'll just lightly scuff up the paint a little bit. Um, nothing major, just a little bit. So it'll go about here right up against the this part so I would say right there it's gonna be a good spot and somewhere like right there it's gonna be a good spot so we'll get those two we'll get the two over here we'll put our little doilies around them and uh, and then we can uh, just we'll, we'll paint back over them It'll all be good. Okay, so I'm going to get that ready to take care of that. And then uh, we're going to flip that over and start painting the camouflage on the top side. Um, meanwhile, um, I'm going to work on covering the vertical stab, which I have my camera mount 
in place. Um, I double checked. Um, everything's good under here with my nut plates, so that's important. So I'll just sand the uh, places where the fabric's going to adhere to that and then get that uh, in place. Um, and first we're going to do that. Okay. <laughs> all right, so I got these, uh, got these all taken care of. Now I'm just going to take my eraser and pick up some excess, uh, excess glue here. Uh, back with my iron and uh, make sure that all the edges are uh, are glued down or uh, glued down nicely so if I pick up a little bit with this I'm not concerned about it just want to get the excess off so do those other three and then I'll get to, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, turn the wing over uh, turn the wing <laughs> it is a wing um, I'll turn the stab over and then we will um, we'll start painting the other side because the temperature in here is perfect for painting all right all right so we're gonna do just like we've done on everything else and uh, just gonna get uh, two coats of brown hold on something important I have to tape this off, so I've got to get some blue tape and get my center line um, all the way around before I can start painting, so I'll be right back. All right, now I got her all taped up. We're ready, and on the very front, I actually wanted to turn under, so what I've got going on here is uh, uh, my green flows right across the top here. And I didn't want to see the yellow over the fuselage, so this, this will be green until we get to this underside here. So, <clears throat> all right, so let's roll it. Okay, so um, that is, uh, whoops. All right, so that is drying, and it's actually drying really fast, um, which is great because by the time I get maybe one side on this fin, um, that'll be ready for another coat of paint. So now I'm gonna switch and uh, do this. Now I'm using scrap fabric uh, pieces I had left over, so um, that's why, that's why, um, you could cover this in one piece really easily. I didn't have a piece that was suitable for that, so we're going to use what we have. But the first thing we got to do is we got to get some uh, glue on this thing. So we're just going to get. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, let's get the glue on and then we can cut the cut the fabric after that. I guess got to get a straight line on the fabric here. So let me get it out of the way for a second. on the leading edge.
we're going to do this just like we've done everything else. Uh, we're going to get it glued to this uh, first inch or so. any really thick areas. All right, and then we gotta do, uh, go about halfway in the back. Make sure we keep our wet towel over the top of this. This is a, not only is that drying quick, this is drying much quicker than I'm, than I'm used to because uh, the temperature is so much better in here, so. Is 3:30. I'm guessing I have another hour and a half uh, to paint and and uh, do this before things uh, become too cool. Now maybe today it'll stay uh, warmer a little bit longer, and I can actually maybe get in a couple hours. Uh, that would be nice. So we're gonna let that dry, then we'll get this fabric tacked around the corners, then we'll get it trimmed, rolled over, ironed in place, and then we can put our uh, we can put our uh, glue down through the fabric while that's drying. Um, let me set it over here. While that's drying, get my fabric prepared, and really all I've got to do is uh, just get myself. I've already drawn a straight line down one edge. Just cut that with the pinking shears and uh, we'll be all set uh, all set to put it on there. All right. All right, so I'm going to split this video in two uh, because I sort of have an extended, um, I didn't get to finish the video last night and I sort of have an extended amount of time today. So so thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out and uh, checking out the video. I You know I always do appreciate it. And um, for this one, I'll catch you later.